Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to day 21 of our return to Forgotten Favorites here in May of 2024. 31 days in the month. 31 forgotten, obscure, rare, underrated, unheralded albums that we really like that most people don't know. <clears throat> Today we're going to go back to 1976 for an album that appeared on the Quality label. They're from Canada. The band is called Lynx, and the album is called Missing. The Missing Lynx, right? Lynx, L-Y-N-X, instead of, instead of L-I-N-K-S, right? Missing is the album here. Uh, so this is a pretty cool record, like I said. 1976, Quality Records, uh, produced by, hold on, produced by uh, R.A., otherwise known as Bob Morton. The band features Rick Haberman on drums, Tony Caputo on keyboards, Rob Schwartz on lead guitar, Mike Schwartz on, or Schwartz, not Schwartz, there's no H there, Mike Schwartz on lead vocals and rhythm guitar. And uh, <clears throat> there are the guys in the band there. Bob Walker on bass, almost forgot Bob. So what is uh, this band all about? Well, a uh, Canadian band, like I mentioned, pretty much high energy stuff for the most part throughout the album. I would classify this as hard rock. It's glam rock. There's a little bit of a prog element going on here as well. It's like it's really interesting when you listen to this band and specifically this album. Uh, from track to track, you get really different feels. And there's like there's there's uh, like first like dollars is the first track. You listen to that, you're like, okay, I hear a little maybe Mata Hoople, maybe a little Slade, maybe a little Sweet. Then you listen to a song like Visions. The second song or even the last song holding on that reminds me of kind of like mid 70s kind of atmospheric proggy sticks then you got stuff like best you ever had and it's all over again high energy heavy rock stuff lucifer also in that same mold but then you got break it up goodbye education hello rock and roll caught in her spell and rock all day roll all day i'm reminded of like uh billion dollar babies era atlas cooper so it's really all over the place. The vocals are certainly in that kind of like Slade, sweet Alice Cooper mold, right? The vocals of um, their guitar player, all right, um, Mike, Mike, Mike Schwartz. A lot of good riffs on here. Most of it, it's other than the couple songs that I mentioned that sound like sticks, most of this stuff is fairly high energy, up tempo, uh, riffy, kind of glammy stuff. Definitely good. The songs are catchy. There's lots of anthems on here. You listen to this and you're like, oh, why didn't this really catch on back in 1976, right? You had like a whole bunch of Canadian bands that didn't really make much of an impact, especially here in the States, right? And then never mentioned, never mind, over in like Cross the Pond, right? Over in Europe and the UK and whatnot. But a very cool band. If you like a lot of those kind of like early, mid-70s bands that do a lot of the sort of stuff that I've been mentioning, if you like some of those bands, I think you'll really dig this. It's a really fun album. They've got a couple records. Um, I, I like all of them. I think they're pretty pretty solid so yeah so missing links is my pick for today cool album cover right do i have a, another shout out of man i don't know if there's anything i said here i don't think so no that's basically as good as you get right so again uh mike swartz lead vocals rhythm guitar rob swartz lead guitar bob walker bass tony caputo keyboards and rick heberman on drums uh, pretty cool band from the 70s links go check them out l y n x missing is the name of the record and that's my forgotten favorite for today. If you've heard it, let us know what you think of it down in the comments below. Otherwise, list your pick for today. Well, go out and listen to this. You can hear the whole album here on YouTube. Go check it out. Pretty cool, obscure band from the 70s from Canada. Uh, list your pick as well down in the comments below. And uh, we'll see you later on. What do we got coming up today? We got In the Prog Seat happening tonight. We're going to go back to 2004 and talk about some of our favorite albums released in 2004 across the proggy genres, right? So uh, that's happening tonight. We've got uh, new album reviews coming up tomorrow. Should have a handful of them for you. Thursday, um, no, it's not Monsters Den. Monsters Den next week. Get it straight, Pete. Friday morning, the Fun House coming up later this week, as well as the Professor's Picks. We've got the review crew on Saturday and ranking the albums of... Uh, um, uh, 
Spirit. That's right. I'm going to be doing the first. I'm going to rank the first four Spirit records. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing the whole catalog because uh, I think they've got like 11 or 12 records all over uh, across, but they're very questionable albums from after the fourth album. It's like you know, well, it doesn't have this member. It doesn't have this member. Then he comes back. Then it's just him. Then it's just the two guys. Then it's just nobody. And it's just it's all over the place. It's all weird. It's all been released like all th through a couple decades and just. So I said, you know what? That's real messy. Most of them I don't have anyway. Really, only anybody cares about those first four. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to rank the first four Spirit Records on Sunday. And uh, then, of course, we got uh, Hudson Valley Squares on Monday. And uh, we start off the work week once again. And uh, I have lots more stuff planned for you also because I'm going to be uh, taking some vacation time. It's kind of hanging around the house. And uh, I've got a couple other little shows planned that I think you guys will dig. So uh, all that stuff is coming up in the days ahead. Till then, I'm Pete Parter. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye.